Okay, here we go. Now, what I have here is I have a little two-year-old. And although she looks like horse size and everything, she's still only two years old, so she's still a baby. And I got her not knowing very much about her. Um, I went up to Tennessee and got her. And she doesn't know how to lunge very well. So she definitely doesn't know on her right side. So anyway, I'm just going to work with this filly, not knowing how much she's been worked with. I'm going to work with her rather slow. But the main thing that I wanted to show is how to get a horse lunging correctly. Now the first thing, of course, that you always want to do is you can't use tools on your horse unless your horse realizes that those tools are not there to hurt you. So I'm going to teach this horse to lunge on both sides. Now everything may not be perfect all in one session, but she should be a better horse when we're finished than when we begin. And right now I'm just desensitizing her to these tools. And if she moves around while I'm teaching her, like there, she's kind of, you know, she's jumpy. And that tells me either she's got a strong, bright uh, nature, or she's just not been handled a whole, whole lot. The people I got her from only handled her a little bit, but they got her from someone else. I believe they sold her for the previous owner. So here she's standing pretty still with all of this. I just want to be able to put it all over her, you know, and show her that it's not something that's going to hurt her or meant to hurt her. And I'm just going to work with her just like she was a five or a six month old. She's a little jumpy because I didn't do anything to tell her to go. So I'm going to stay here kind of at her shoulder at a 45 degree angle. And then when she looks at me, you know, and I mean, I'm an amateur. I'm definitely not a pro. I, I try working with some of my own horses, but I've got two horses in training with a professional. His name is Johnny McKeehan, and uh, I don't claim to be a professional. I just like to, I like to work with my babies, and I'm probably, I'm gonna, I'm probably about to send this one off to be broke by Johnny. But right now, I just want her to know some ground manners, okay? And I want her to know that this is not there to hurt her. So. I'm a believer in spending a whole lot of time desensitizing because they'll be much better drillers to spend a lot of time desensitizing. And I've already worked with her a little bit. You know, I've taught her to yield the hindquarters, as you can see. You know, we can pretty much go the, all the way around. Still a little nervous about it, but she does move and she does pretty much leave her feet in place. Which, if you look at one foot and it looks kind of blue, that's because I spray it with copper sulfate to keep her hooves healthy. And there we go, we had this one foot stay in place pretty much that whole time around. Go ahead and yield those hindquarters on the other side. And this is her bad side. So we can see right there a little hole in her training, but she's still really, really nervous when working. She's nervous anyway, so she's not completely, wholly desensitized. Um, but she's more desensitized. Still nervous, you can see it. So lots and lots of this rubbing down and praising and keeping.
keeping yourself at a 45 degree angle and not letting them get too much in your space. And I put up my elbow or use my hands to keep her out of my space, but at the same time, rewarding her. You know, they can come into your space if they're respectful and you invite them, but not uninvited and not if they're disrespectful. Okay, that was nice right there because she didn't take off with any forward motion. And that's what I don't want. I don't want any forward motion. And I keep about 12 to 18 inches up here. Keep myself positioned. See how nervous she's getting with the wind? But I have caught her. So that I'm 45 degrees, okay, from the shoulder. She's getting nervous with this wind. Whoa. Alright, and when she stops and stands still, that's when I give her her big reward. Alright. So baby steps. Just happy to get a couple of steps there. I don't need that full circle on this side, which is the bad side. We've got a lot of tall pine trees out here surrounding our arena, and it's fall, and Hurricane Michael is out in the Gulf, and even though we're away from it, we definitely have winds picking. I'm real happy with this, that she's just, you know, moving her hindquarters. And I'm not asking for them to perfectly stay still or to go the full circle here on her back side. Because I can tell that she's still real nervous, okay? So as a two-year-old, my main job is to teach her these things, but also to keep her not confused and calm. So she's got to understand what I'm asking for before I start insisting on things in a big way. So, I'm not going to go through the whole desensitizing. I'm just going to, a little bit on her good side, just point my finger, and what I've taught her is, well, first of all, let me say this. Let me bring her to a what. When I first teach a horse to lunge, and a lot of, this is the perfect example because I'm working with a two-year-old, and also you'll see this with if I post my colt and my fillet. Um, but the first thing I do is disengage the hindquarters, okay, and get them stepping under themselves, okay? And then, let me go ahead and get this situated. What I do when I'm first teaching them to lunge is disengage the hindquarters, okay? Because that takes their strength away. I mean, and it gets them moving. So I get her stepping under herself and then I can kind of let the rope out and turn that into more of a circle. Now I've taught her that when I point and click, that means go fast. I'm going to let her go about two times around, point, point, click, tells her to keep going, point, click, see she's kind of nervous, that's okay, I'm bring the rope to my belly, bring the rope to my belly and say whoa, whoa, and she stands there quietly with two eyes on. How wonderful she is. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. So you can see that she misinterprets a lot of things. Whoa. Not like if I lift my hand, you know, she's just, she's unsure. Like right now my cues are subtle and they're not with meaning. So I'm not really telling her to do anything. See, they're just a movement but she's ready.
so she's just not really totally relaxed and calm and sure of herself. So we're here to make her sure of herself. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I've been having a little bit of trouble on the right side. So we'll see right now. If I begin by just teaching her these C turns, point and step toward her shoulder, look. And then cross my hands under and point and step toward the shoulder. Whoa. Whoa. Point and step toward the shoulder. She can kind of get an idea that when I change hands and point and step toward the shoulder, that's a change of directions. Sudden movements and stuff, she has been known to just kind of take off and try to get off the lead line um, just because she's not sure. And I can tell that she just wasn't handled a tremendous amount as a baby. So right now I'm really, really rubbing on her for doing all that right. So let's just pretend she doesn't know how to lunge at all. Go ahead and point. Disengage the hindquarters. Point and step. Okay. And that's all it has to be the first time. It just has to be satisfactory. shoulder and now I'm just going to let out a little bit of line so that we can end on success Good. see that you probably didn't see it because I was too far away Let's do that again. See how jumpy she is? She's ready for anything and so, I, so am I. That's why I'm at a 45 degree angle. Disengage and then point. You can see you're getting a little bit nervous. Here's where she gets nervous. Going to the right. I'm going to get a little further out. She tries to kind of take me all around the arena working the right. So here we go, disengaging the hindquarters and getting that forward motion. And what she always does is when she gets toward that gate, she'll try to stop. So I have to stay behind the shoulder and keep her moving. Now, why would I ask for speed right now when I've got questionable understanding and obedience? Because it's not just understanding. She definitely understands. But it's I don't like the right side, and I'm going to try to get out of it. So why would I push her into speed where she has more power when I've still got her resisting it slow? So I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep getting behind that drive line, okay? 
Now this, she's more of a beginner than the horse in my other video. And do look up my other video because I've had people ask me, and right here is why. Why do you disengage the hindquarters? Okay, well if you've got a horse that's scared and is ready to lunge out, look at, look at that. You want to be at a 45 and you want to take that power away. And you take the power away at the hindquarters. And you get them moving. So now I can, that's why you teach yielding the hindquarters first. Okay, so I can get those hindquarters disengaged, get behind her drive line, get her moving, and just keep working with her at this speed until she stops arguing with me. That way I set her up for success. And she can't drag me all around the arena. Now I did click a little bit there. Okay, here she's resisting. Just a little step toward the shoulders. Yeah, just let her do this. As long as she'll do it, let her do it a few times. Because there's a resistance. Okay. And it's important to stay slightly behind the shoulder. Because sometimes when you're in front of the shoulder, the horse thinks that you're wanting her to come to a stop. Well, she wasn't ready to come to a stop, but she was ready to turn around and go on her favorite side. So here's the C-turn. Okay, and I'm back to the unfavored side. Okay. So while... And I, that, to me, it wasn't very long. Back away. Okay. Photo bomb. <laughs> Got the little filly came through a gate that I left open on purpose, but they're friends. And I'm going to go ahead and let her go on that note. Um, you know, I did some other things with her while tied. But much better for me to end on a successful note than to force her into confusion and we'll just go a step further tomorrow.